What's going on? Welcome to Weekly Vlog 4 and today it's a Q&A with myself. The questions that you guys have sent me in through social media, through email, I'm going to answer right here today and just throw the questions right out there and throw the answers right out there so you guys can take what you want from it and make what you wish. So it's a lot of it's um, questions directed towards me. So it might not apply to you specifically, but take the information and try and apply bits that you think might be relevant to you. My first question, this is from a personal training client of mine, and he asked me, do I increase the weight in every workout that I do? So when it comes to training, my goal is to have some sort of progression, some sort of progressive overload from workout to workout. Now it might be increasing the weight, or it also might be increasing the reps or sets that I do. Saying that, it's not always about increasing the weight, but you need to have some sort of progression in the workout so you know you're making progress, so you're improving your physique. That's the main thing, having a form of progression within the workout. Now, yes, weight is a good indication that if you're adding strength, then you're gonna be building more muscle and you're also gonna be burning a lot more calories. I would say focus on increasing the weight you lift, first and foremost, but also think of the other variables like increasing the sets or increasing the reps or decreasing your rest. So those are the ways of varying your training. Second question, it's from a gym dude. I've called him gym dude because I don't know his name, but I see him in the gym all the time. And he asked me, do I follow a strict diet? Now my diet changes every single day. I wake up at different times, um, but my day is very varied. And so I don't eat the same meals at the same times every day. I follow a flexible approach to dieting. I do pick up things from the shops and I factor it into my diet using macro tracking app like my fitness pal. So that's what I do. I don't follow a strict diet regime as I have done in the past. I freestyle quite a lot of the time. But saying that, a lot of the times I do end up eating the same kind of meals just because it's easier, it takes less thinking and I just know what I'm having. I don't follow a strict diet regime, but I do track macros. And when I'm specifically trying to achieve a goal like lose body fat and get lean, then I'm getting really specific and hitting those macro targets. It kind of isn't, isn't a diet, but I am strict with macro tracking, but I'm not strict with what exactly I eat. But it is healthy most of the time. Okay, I've got a question here from a contest prep slash personal training client, Denny. What do you do when you mess up your macros? So basically when you overeat or like overshoot your calories, for the day. When this happens, um, it's usually because you've got a meal out or you've um, underestimated the day that you've got ahead and you've ended up eating all your calories earlier in the day. When this happens, don't panic. Go with the flow, try to be conservative towards the end of the day. So eat more bigger salads and lean protein sources so you're not gonna over consume your calories even more and then just create that deficit later on in the week. It doesn't matter if you overshoot one day, you can create a deficit later on in the week. So if you overeat by say 200 calories on one day of the week, then undereat by 50 calories for the next four days, and then you've still maintained that calorie target that you're aiming to achieve. Don't stress about it. Try and manage your macros carefully, and then if you do mess up on one day where you overshoot your calories, just eat more conservatively for the next few days to make sure your weekly average target is met. Next question, this is from my online client, is can you overtrain a body part? It's quite hard to achieve overtraining state. Now you have to be really smashing your body, you know, with high volume, lots of heavy training, um, and not having a lot of rest in order to achieve an overtrained state. It's quite hard to overtrain a body part, but the symptoms would normally be fatigue, very um, hard to recover between training sessions and just a real drop in strength. So unless you're feeling those things, then you probably aren't gonna overtrain a body part. I would say aim to train a body part two to three times a week with moderate volume in each of those workouts. Or if you're gonna go ham and just train it really hard, then once to twice a week maximum. And this is very dependent on your recovery. If you're a fast recovery person, then you can probably train more frequently. And if it takes a bit, a bit longer for you to recover, then you probably need to leave a few more days between your sessions. But two to three muscle, two to three workouts a week for a specific muscle group is usually more than enough to stimulate the muscle and you won't fall into that overtrained state. Can I have carbs after 6 p.m.? Will they make me fat? No. If you are eating in a caloric deficit, so that's eating under your maintenance calories, then it is impossible to accumulate body fat because 
your body is in an energy deficit. It's impossible to turn carbs after a certain time into body fat if you're eating well below what your body needs to maintain its current weight. So the timing of your carbs are basically irrelevant. Ideally, you want to eat a lot of them after your training to support your recovery. But if you eat them at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock, it doesn't really matter as long as you're in a calorie or energy deficit. So if you eat our carbs after 6, don't worry about it, don't stress. But make sure that you're not over consuming carbs for the day. That's the trick. One last question. This question here from um, a guy called Andy, a good friend of mine. He asked me, what would you recommend for small calves? So, um, to be honest, I'm not going to be um, the best example because my calves aren't all that. You know, they're one of my weaker body parts. I know they are, and I've just got to deal with it, but I'm going to do something about it. I'm not just going to accept that they're skinny calves. I'm going to make sure I do something about it. And what I am doing and what I'm programming right now into my training is to hit them two to three times per week with varied volume. So one session will be heavy calf raises with heavy seated calf raises or heavy leg press calf press. And then I'll be doing a slightly moderate volume on the next session, so eight to 12 reps. And then the third session, if I manage to get third session that week, I'll go really high volume, like 20 rep sets. So any stubborn muscle group that you're struggling with, you can put higher volume, higher frequency of training in there to try and stimulate that muscle to grow. Whether it's your calves, or whether it's your shoulders, whether it's your biceps, or your triceps, or your chest, you can use higher frequency and higher volume and varying the rep ranges and weight that you lift in the workouts to stimulate that muscle to grow. I'm gonna take my own advice right there and I'm gonna start training them two to three times a week using those methods because my calves are small, they don't grow very well, and I need to do something about it. Any weak muscle group, train it more frequently, train it hard, and it will grow. It's inevitable as long as you're in an energy surplus. That's the trick. You have to be eating more calories than your body needs to maintain your weight. So there you go, my Q&A series done. Try to whack that one out quickly because I don't want you guys to lose interest in these videos. I want you to stay right till the end so you can subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lee Constantine and stay up to date with all my fitness videos, my training workouts, and download the programs as well, guys. I'm giving you programs, they're free PDFs to download and try as well. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A series. Stay tuned, I'll be doing a lot more of these. Make sure you leave your questions below, and I will pick the best ones out to answer them in future weekly vlogs. Thanks for watching, peace.